Billy Joel once said, it's all about Seoul. Now, I don't know if he was talking about the capital of South Korea, and there's literally no way to find out if he was, but either way, but either way, South Korean food is taking over the Western world. It is currently undergoing a boom in all Western countries. Brisbane is no exception. Well, it's not a country, but anyway. That brings me here to Sunnybank to check out Seoul Bistro, which promises Brisbane's best South Korean fried chicken buffet. So I'm gonna check out how much South Korean fried chicken I can actually eat in the allotted time. I'm also gonna find out which flavor is the best. There's 10 different flavors. Which one comes out on top? Let's have a look. When you hear the word buffet, you probably think of a sizzler style trough in the middle of the restaurant. Seoul Bistro is a little bit different. You order one or two styles of wings that are freshly prepared and they're brought out to you on a basket. Thank you. In addition to wings, you can also get unlimited fries, garlic bread, and delicious iced tea. I decided to get my wings in the order that they appeared on the menu. But first, how would you like to win one of two $75 vouchers for Seoul Bistro? That's right, Seoul Bistro and Food Sack have teamed up to bring you the chance of winning one of two $75 vouchers for Seoul Bistro. That is a lot of fried chicken and chips, and you also can get burgers, drinks. There's an extensive menu beyond the fried chicken. So have a look in the description to see how you can win one of these two vouchers. Anyway, back to the chicken wings. I decided to order my chicken wings in the order that they appear on the menu. So first up was crispy fried. There it is there. Nice drumstick. Let's go. Juicy inside, crispy outside, awesome stuff. Yum. The flavor, actually, they've like marinated this somehow. This is pretty good. Next was the Yang Yum. Yang Yum style. Let's have a go. I'm gonna check out a flat. Look at that. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Wow, that is a thick, almost jam-like sauce. That is really nice. It's pretty sweet, pretty spicy, strong Korean flavors there. <coughs> Possibly superior to the crispy fried. I don't know. I do like the uh, the sauce. It's good. It's good. It's good they supply garlic bread and chips to mop up the sauce, but do beware. Uh, you know, they could be trying to fill you up with the carbs of the garlic bread and the chips. So um. You know, eat them sparingly. Eat them sparingly because you're going to get the most value from eating as much chicken as you can. That's a little food sack tip for you. Same thing with the iced tea. Now, I thought this would be unsweetened iced tea, Korean style, but it's actually quite sweet. Delicious, but very sweet. Mmm, that's actually really nice iced tea. It, um, you can taste the fruit in there. I'm not sure what type of fruit it is, but it's very nice. Yeah. On to the honey soy. I see the honey soy there. Looking delish. Let's give it a go. Well, very hot. Wow. Mmm. Yum. That honey soy coating is a lot, a lot thinner than uh, most honey soy things. As you can kind of see, it is, um, it's kind of watery, but in a good way, it's not overwhelming. It's not overwhelmingly sweet, but it's just kind of a sweet soy sauce sort of flavor. Mm. These wings are super juicy. I don't know if I'm gonna make it through 10 servings of these, I hope so. Next was the honey wasabi. Honey wasabi. So as you can see, there's some sort of wasabi coating. Uh, I'll just try the coating first, actually. Mmm. Whoa, there it is. Yeah, you can taste the, uh, the wasabi, like a, a, a subtle wasabi kick. Actually not very strong, but it's there. You can taste the wasabi. That's actually quite good as well. Let's try the whole thing. Wow, really hot, but that cream is nice. It's more of a mild mayonnaise with a little bit of wasabi. I don't know if you can see the green tint there. Like that very sort of pale green wasabi tint, but it's there, you can taste it. Wow, I think I'm getting juice on the camera. These are juicy wings. 
Next was the buffalo with blue cheese sauce. Then on to the peri peri. Both with some heavy cream action. This looks really good. Wow, that car. All right, let's get stuck into it. I think the, uh, the, the peri peri at least is the OG chicken with a peri peri sauce on top. This, uh, this skin is so crispy. Look at the, uh, look at the, 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 the crisp there, the crunch. You can see the dryness there. It's a really dry outside and a really moist inside. Amazing stuff. Let's go. Wow. Mmm. That is a, a thick mayonnaise there. If I'm not mistaken, that is Kewpie. Or at least something very close to Kewpie. Mmm. I like it. Next up, of course, is the buffalo wings. Now look at this buffalo sauce. Fantastic. All right, let's try Sons cream. Mmm, similar to the young num, but um, not as spicy. With the blue cheese. Mmm, really good. Next, I had the hot and spicy. Mm. Following that, I had the smoky barbecue. Mm. Very sweet barbecue. Mm. I'm starting to get the meat sweats. Chicken meat sweats. At this stage, I was getting pretty full. I had had close to 30 wings. After that was the Thai sweet chili. Hello. Hi. She's got me on the bed. Um, um she sent me a text yesterday. That was it. As you can see there, I, I was starting to regret some of my choices regarding eating a whole bunch of wings on a Sunday afternoon. Lastly, I finished up with the sour cream and chives. Mm. There were seven wings per basket, and I had five baskets brought out to me. So that's 35 wings in total. Now, I didn't eat all 35, sadly. I did put away 32, though. Uh, not bad, not a bad effort. And there was actually a dollar surcharge for each wing that I did not eat. Now, you may think that that's a bit unfair, but wasting food is a sin, and it is good to have a monetary value placed on that sin. Kind of a plenary indulgence for chicken wings. So it's good to see that medieval Catholicism has inspired um, a fried chicken restaurant. This is the point which I gave up. Oh wait, no it's not. Uh, yeah, but it, it was soon before I gave up. So I enjoyed my experience at Soul Bistro. The total price was $28.90. As I said, I did leave some chicken wings behind. I would not overdo it were I to do it again. So crowning my favorites, I think definitely the Young Yum was very interesting. I quite enjoyed that one. Also the sour cream and chives, the sour cream and chicken wing is a good combo. And I think also the honey wasabi was was also pretty good but you know the crispy fried itself uh just the simple crispy fried also really did hit the spot so there we have it many thanks for watching make sure to like and subscribe leave a comment below and do make sure to check out how you can win one of two 75 dollars vouchers for soul bistro just check out the description box for more information many thanks for watching and i will catch you in an alleyway sometime Cheers.